Here at the Lismore Recycling and Recovery Centre, we have started a recycling revolution and we want you to join us. We pride ourselves in being leaders in waste management and we are all busy working towards a common goal to keep as much waste out of landfill as possible. This helps our environment by decreasing harmful greenhouse gas emissions and saves us money. Over the last few years, we have started several recycling and resource recovery programs. We recycle timber, steel and concrete, have a revolve shop where we sell pre-loved household goods, and we recycle organic material and turn your food and garden waste into a nutrient-rich compost that we sell so people can make great veggie gardens. In May, we opened a new recycling plant, the Materials Recovery Facility, or MRF as we like to call it. This is a state-of-the-art piece of machinery that sorts and separates our recyclables so they can be sent away and made into new products. We aim to process 250 tonnes of recycling per week, which includes recycling brought in from neighbouring council areas, making us the recycling hub of the region. So, what happens to your recycling after you put it out on the curb for collection? Well, your yellow bin is picked up by our collection trucks and brought to the Lismore Recycling and Recovery Centre. Your recycling comes to the MRF where all of your milk bottles, glass jars, newspapers, steel and aluminium cans, bagged plastic bags and other recyclable items are unloaded into a holding bay. The recycling is now ready to start its journey through the MRF. We place the recycling into a hopper, basically a big steel bucket with a conveyor in it, and it goes to the first manual sorting station. Our wonderful workers from the House With No Steps then remove the bagged plastic bags, bagged polystyrene and resource recovery collection satchels. They also take out any bulky items such as cardboard boxes, big plastic recyclables and lengths of steel. We recycle these separately as the MRF machinery can't process them. Here we also remove contamination, which is anything that is not recyclable. This includes nappies, bags of waste, food and clothing. These items cannot be recycled through the MRF and we manually remove them so they don't muck up the MRF machinery. This is a difficult job for our staff, particularly if there is a lot of contamination. That's why it's so important we recycle right at home and help make their job easier. From here, the mixed recycling continues its journey through the MRF to a series of screens with large rotating discs. Paper and cardboard is pushed forward, glass is separated and plastic bottles and cans fall through the gaps to a conveyor below. After passing through screens, steel cans are removed by a large magnet which picks them up and throws them into a storage cage below. They are then baled ready to be taken for remanufacture. Hard plastic bottles and containers continue to the final manual sorting station. Our workers grab the hard plastic items and throw them into a storage cage. This includes milk bottles, ice cream containers, lids, yogurt containers and soft drink bottles. Any paper or cardboard that has made it through to this point is also removed and separated. Aluminium cans are the last items to be removed from the MRF sorting process. An eddy current machine, which works in the opposite way to a magnet, repels the aluminium can off the conveyor, literally throwing it over the top and into a storage cage below. Any items that have not been removed at this point start the process all over again. This way we ensure any materials that can be recycled will be recycled. The separated steel, plastic, aluminium and paper is put through a baling machine which compacts the material into a one metre cube and wraps it tightly with wire. This makes it easy to store and move around. The different bales are then loaded onto a semi-trailer and transported to various locations for remanufacture. But wait a minute, what happened to all that glass we removed? Now that's an interesting journey. We smash the glass and it travels outside the building and along a conveyor to the glass processing plant. A big machine removes bottle tops and jar lids and crushes the glass even smaller. It passes through a screen where paper and labels are removed and then through a second imploder to crush it into sand. The glass sand goes into a giant sieve, removing particles of glass that are too coarse and any other contaminants that have made it this far. Now the glass sand is pumped into storage bays. The finished product is not dissimilar to coarse sand and is soft to touch, showing how recycling really can close the loop. Now it's ready to be used on our roads. Making products from recycled materials requires considerably less energy and water and creates less air pollution than manufacturing from raw materials. 
As you can see, the MRF is making the most of our waste and helping to restore our environment. Here at Lismore City Council, we are committed to leading the way in waste management and making Lismore a model of sustainability. We can all do our bit to recycle right and help our MRF work. So go on, be part of the recycling revolution.